What's going on everybody? This is Ultima Device Vids and today in this video we're going to be checking out 40 more free iOS 13.5 tweaks. All the tweak names, sources, and video timestamps can be found in the description down below. Axon brings a brand new notification system to the lock screen slash cover sheet area. It'll display all the applications that you have notifications for and you can just tap on the apps to view the notifications for that specific app. And if you guys jump into the settings for the tweak, there's a whole host of options to configure. Naval allows you to add a color gradient effect to the dock, as you can see right here. And of course, to set this up, you want to jump into the settings for this tweak, and you can choose your two colors in addition to a whole host of other options. Drag Enabler brings full drag and drop support from the iPads to the iPhone. As you can see right here, for instance, I can grab a link from Safari and put it in another application, for instance, Notes, as you can see right here. Roman Pad replaces your passcode buttons and the dialer numbers in your phone application with Roman numerals as you can see right here. And once again, it works in the phone application for the keypad as you can see right there as well. And of course, if you guys jump into the settings for this tweak, there's a few options to configure. Live Safari makes the Safari app icon act like a real compass. As you can see here, it responds as I move my device, and the needle always points towards magnetic north. Label Changer gives you a whole host of customization options for your app labels. For instance, as you can see right here, I have the font of mine changed, and if you guys jump into the settings for this tweak, again, there's a whole host of options to configure that pertain to color, font, text size, label color, and border color. CC Music Artwork places the album artwork for the music that you're currently listening to right in the control center module for music. And Now Playing Icon provides a very similar effect to app icons. It'll replace the app icon of the app that you're currently listening to music from with the album artwork of the music that you're currently listening to. Better CC 11 gives you enhanced connectivity and music control center modules. As you can see, we're able to see more than the standard four connectivity toggles right from the shrunken view of the module. And the same thing goes for the music control center module. We're able to see more controls for both of these without having to expand the full module like we normally have to do. And if you guys jump over to the settings for better CC 11, you can configure the modules to your liking. Blur switch allows you to have these very good looking colored on and off switches in iOS. And of course, to set the tweak up, you want to jump over to the settings for the tweak. You can determine the color for both on and off in addition to some other options. Blur wall provides a nice blur effect to the home screen wallpaper and the lock screen wallpaper. And of course, if you guys jump into the settings for this tweak, you can configure it to your liking. Battery percent X allows you to see the battery percentage without having to swipe down for the control center on the iPhone 10 and above. Of course, normally you have to swipe to view it like this, but this just places it right in the status bar, right where the battery image would normally be. And if you head over to the settings for this tweak, there's some additional options to configure. Central will center the last row of applications on home screen pages and folder pages to go for a cleaner look. As you can see here, my last row of apps only has three going across, and of course, normally in iOS, these apps would be squished to the left, but this centers them going for a cleaner look. You can see it also works for these pages with two apps, and of course, inside folders as well. Kaleidoscope allows you to add various different custom color schemes to iOS. As you can see, this is kind of a darkish green scheme that I have going right now. And a lot of the presets that this tweak comes with definitely look best in dark mode. As you can see right here, this green theme definitely looks best with dark mode. And if you guys head over to the settings for Kaleidoscope, you can enable or disable the tweak. And of course, you could choose your preset. There's various to choose from in here. And to select a preset, you tap on it and then press enable. You could also edit the color schemes if you want to as well. Normally in iOS, when your battery hits 20% or 10%, you'll get a pop-up in the middle of the screen saying that you have low battery. However, with low battery banner, it will make the notification a banner notification so it doesn't interrupt whatever you're doing on your device. Floating Music gives you a little mini music player that you could drag to anywhere on your screen. And of course, if you tap on it, you have play pause controls in addition to the ability to skip a track or go back a track. Normally in iOS, inside of a lot of applications on the iPhone 10 and above, there's this unused space at the bottom of the screen where the home bar sits. However, with Saw, as you can see here, it allows you to remove that unused space and the home bar, going for a cleaner look. Now, the only downside to this is when tapping tabs at the bottom of the screen, sometimes I find myself it takes a few different taps to actually get it to register because it starts to trigger the go home gesture, of course, because of course that space at the bottom of the screen is removed. However, if you find yourself not encountering that issue, it certainly goes for a cleaner look. And if you guys head over to the settings for Saw, there's a few different options to configure in addition to the ability to blacklist it in certain applications if it doesn't work well in certain apps. Volume Lock allows you to temporarily disable your volume buttons. Just press both volume buttons at the same time, you'll get some taptic feedback, and then the volume buttons will be disabled until you repeat the gesture, and then they'll be enabled again. 
Switch Confirm allows you to set up a confirmation pop-up to appear when you're about to be switched from one application to another application. For instance, I'm in Safari right now, and if I'm about to be switched to YouTube, as you can see, I have it set up so it prompts me to either allow or deny the ability for it to open YouTube. If I don't want to, I just click no thanks, and then it doesn't happen. And of course, if I want to, I click allow, and it redirects just like that. And of course, to set this up, you want to go into the settings for the tweak and select the applications that need confirmation to be switched to. Oriental will ask you when you rotate your device into landscape mode if you want to lock it in portrait mode. And of course, if you tap on the button, it will go ahead and redirect you into portrait mode and lock you in portrait mode. Now, of course, if you rotate your device to landscape mode and you actually want to keep it in landscape mode, just wait a few seconds. And, and as you can see there, the button for portrait lock will just disappear. No Animations X completely removes animations for when you open and close applications, as you can see right here. Same thing goes for going into the app switcher and switching between applications just like that and unlocking your device as well. Ability gives you some new options for reachability on your device. For instance, I've disabled the timeout, so reachability will stay active until I actually, of course, tap on something and then it will dismiss, but the automatic timeout is disabled. I've also disabled the tap to dismiss, as you can see here, and of course, all these options can be configured inside the settings panel for ability. Replay adds shuffle and repeat buttons to your lock screen slash cover sheet area media player, as you can see right here, and it also works for the expanded music module in the control center. Buzz allows you to customize the color of pretty much everything inside the phone application. As you can see right here, throughout the entire app, you can customize all of the colors. And of course, this is all configurable inside the settings for the tweak. You can customize the color for a ton of things in the phone app. Home screen quick actions allows you to hide various different options from the quick action menu. So as you can see here, normally in iOS, there's options like edit home screen, share app, delete app. However, with this tweak, as you can see, if you don't want those there, you could disable them. And of course, inside the settings for the tweak, you can determine what you do and don't want to see in the quick action menus. Notey Clearer allows you to automatically set notifications to dismiss after a specified amount of seconds that you configure inside the settings for the tweak. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to set it to five seconds. So I'm just going to go ahead and send myself a notification now. And as you can see here, after my specified amount of seconds, in my case, five seconds, the notification automatically cleared. Now, of course, if you use this, you're probably going to want to set it for longer than five seconds, but you can see how the tweak works. Any launch allows you to set your icons to animate when you do various things. For instance, as you can see right here, I have this spin animation when I open up my applications. And of course, if you guys head over to the settings for any launch, there's a whole host of options to configure. You can configure icons to animate when doing a variety of things, in addition to choosing between a whole host of animations and some other settings as well. Bounce It adds these very springy bounce animations to when you open and close applications, go into the app switcher, switch between applications, also for opening and closing folders as well. Blanca allows you to reshape your notification banners, your widgets, your dock, and your lock screen slash cover sheet media player from the standard rectangle design to this nice new leaf style. As you can see, it's definitely a nice visual refresh. This tweak also allows you to customize a whole host of other things in regards to notifications. If you head over to the settings for Blanca, you can configure everything to your liking in here. Let me know will give you taptic feedback or a vibration as soon as a call connects or disconnects. And of course, if you guys head over to the settings for let me know, there's some options to configure. Stratosphere moves the dock to the top of your home screen rather than the bottom, as you can see right here. Circle settings makes the icons in the settings application circular, as you can see right here. Not Today 13 completely hides the widgets page slash today page, as you can see from the home screen and the cover sheet, just like that. Clean Tabs 13 removes the labels from tabs at the bottom of applications, as you can see right here, to go for a cleaner look. 3D Badge Clear allows you to clear badge notifications off of app icons temporarily using the Quick Actions menu, as you can see right here. Now, if you open up the application that the badge was on and leave the notification or notifications on red and then exit back to the home screen, you can see the badges will reappear. However, if you want a quick way to get rid of app badges temporarily, this tweak gets the job done. Cool Folder gives your folders a very clean look. As you can see, it has this nice border around the edges of both the home screen icon and the folders themselves, and it also removes the background from the inside of the folders. And if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, there's some options to configure. No Clutter allows you to hide a whole host of things on your device to go for a cleaner look. For instance, as you can see, I have some elements hidden from my status bar, the page dots from the bottom of the home screen are hidden, and as you can see here, there's various elements hidden from my lock screen as well. And of course, in the settings panel for No Clutter, you can determine what you do and don't want hidden. There's a whole host of things in here once again. Flat URL will hide the background to the URL bar that's normally present in iOS, as you can see here, going for a cleaner look. Hide dots is a simple tweak that allows you to hide two things. It allows you to hide the page indicator dots at the bottom of the home screen. And if you're using a device with a home button, it'll allow you to hide the page indicator dots on the lock screen as well. If you jump over to the settings for hide dots, you can enable and disable the ability to hide both of those things. 
CC Vibration allows you to enable and disable vibration for both silent mode and ringer mode at the same time using an easy control center toggle. Now this tweak is a add-on for CC support, so if you guys don't already have CC support installed, this will automatically install it for you. And then you want to go into Settings, Control Center, Customize Controls, and then find CC Vibration and add it to your control center. Alright everybody, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.